Nothing is sweeter than a precious photo of an itty bitty newborn. Six days become six months before you know it, and having pictures of them so little is super special, especially if you're a photo addict like I am. I take photos for a living, so I totally appreciate the skill that goes into taking the perfect newborn picture. That said, I am also a super budget conscious mom, so that's why I've always taken the newborn pictures myself. Lucky for you, I have a bunch of super easy and creative ideas for how to take DIY newborn photos at home right on your phone. Before we jump into my newborn photo ideas, make sure you subscribe to Chatbook's YouTube channel for more genius photo hacks, family photo book ideas, and so much more. We are going to save money and still score those epic newborn photos with these ideas. And once we get the shot, do not let those photos get stuck in camera roll purgatory. Print them! I always print my photos with my month book photo book subscription from Chatbook. Woo! Chatbooks is the ridiculously easy way to share, print, and enjoy your family photos. My girls love flipping through our photo books, and they are beyond easy and affordable to make with the Chatbooks app. I'm just a teeny bit obsessed. Now admittedly, my newborn daughter is four months old. I kept meaning to take her portrait, but time got away from me in the chaos of becoming a mom of two. But that's okay. It is never too late to take these kinds of pictures, and I will prove that to you today. Chloe is going to be my mini model, and I am definitely going to add the final results to this month's book. You are going to love how these turn out. Let's get started. We're going to start with the basics. Pick a spot next to a nice sunny window with plenty of indirect light. For a background, I'm going to spread a blanket out on the floor. You don't need any fancy photo backgrounds, just use what you have. Now chances are you have plenty of swaddles. If you love the look of those stretchy, gauzy newborn wraps, they're easy to find on Etsy or even Amazon. But I have an even better trick for you. Use an old cozy sweater to make your own special photo wrap. Just find the seams, cut along them, cut away the sleeves and the collar, and you're left with one big piece of fabric. This is the perfect size for a newborn, maybe a bit of a stretch for my four-month-old baby, but even still, it works like a dream. Just wrap and stretch the swaddle, tucking it in under the baby until they're nice and secure. Whoops! They get really good at sneaking those arms out of a swaddle once they get bigger. One big bonus of using an upcycled sweater is that it smells like you, and that's a really good trick for getting your newborn to relax. Look at that cozy texture, and zero dollars to make. Ugh, I love it. This idea is all about getting your newborn tucked in and cuddly. I'm putting Chloe's crib mattress on the floor and covering it with a set of jersey sheets. They're super stretchy and soft, which looks beautiful in newborn photos. These are twin sheets for my toddler's bed, and I'm just tucking the excess underneath. Ideally, you want to take your newborn pictures between 4 and 12 weeks. You want to hit that sweet spot of feeling settled and confident, but have your baby be little enough that their wake windows are short. But here I am with my big old juicy 4-month baby, and it'll still work. Here's my trick. If they are awake, and not ready for their close-up, go ahead with the entire setup, place them in the scene, and be patient. They will fall back asleep eventually. I rub her face, I sing her a song, and look! Ooh, that is so satisfying. Now that she's asleep, I can play around without feeling rushed. You can take the picture just like this. I happen to have these felt stars in the back of Chloe's closet, thinking I was going to make her a DIY mobile. I haven't. So I'm going to add them to the sheet just to add a little bit of texture. You could do the same thing with full flowers, little stuffed animals, pretty much anything. This one's so simple, but easy to customize with colors or accessories to make it however you'd like. So cute! There are so many whimsical ways of setting up a newborn photo shoot, but you don't have to go crazy buying things to set up a scene. I have a blue comforter, so I'm going to do this next idea on the bed, but you could do this with any blue blanket, blue towel, tablecloth. I do want to use this opportunity for a little disclaimer. No matter which idea you're trying, you want to make sure that your baby is always safe and secure. Leave it to a baby to show you they can roll for the first time while they're on the bed and your hands are busy holding a camera. A tip to keep in mind if you're taking a picture on a bed is that you want to tuck Tuck your comforter in super, super tight. This helps smooth out any wrinkles and keeps your photos looking really professional. Now for the scene, I'm just going to use regular computer paper to cut out some clouds. You don't have to be an artist for this, clouds are easy. Next, you're going to blow up a balloon, which babies love to watch. Instead of ribbon, try a pipe cleaner for the handle. It doesn't move around a lot, just looks a lot cleaner in photographs. So simple and so whimsical. This is such a fun one to do. It doesn't get any cuter or any cozier than this idea. As a new parent, you were often gifted lots of lovely stuffed animals, so why not use them to make a cute little photo? Look at that loungy vibe! This is yet another picture where I am going to be patient and help Chloe fall asleep in the scene once everything is already set up. You could do this with one oversized stuffed animal, or you could use a collection, almost like they're one of the squishy little toys. If you have a stuffed animal from when you were little, or a special gift from a grandparent, you can use this photo to capture that memory. If you're looking for something chic and 
dramatic, this one's for you. I'm putting down something cozy, and here's a tip. Make sure you put a puppy pad underneath whatever your background is. Now for this idea, you're going to need your hands, so either grab another person or get an inexpensive phone tripod. You can buy them for less than $30, and they usually come with a Bluetooth remote. That way you can set the timer, push the button, and you can still use your hands to make it look like you're holding them in midair. I'm putting down a piece of black fabric from the craft store. This also works with a black sheet, black tablecloth, anything you have on hand. You're also going to need one large piece of soft tool. This is something you can find at a fabric store or most craft stores. If you have a wedding veil on hand, you could use that too and make a really sentimental photo. Again, keep in mind that this is so much easier to do with the younger newborn. Chloe just figured out how to roll over, so that's pretty much all she wants to do 24-7. But I'm going to use my trick of setting up the scene, placing her in it, and helping her fall back asleep. While I'm waiting for her to fall back asleep, I'm going to add a diaper just underneath her bottom so that nothing gets on the tool. Once your baby is nice and cozy, roll them to their side, grab the tool on each end, and pull it together to one side of the black fabric, almost like a hammock. When you snap the photo, they're cradled in this really beautiful transparent fabric. You can also do this one as a black and white. Super chic and super dramatic. If you're a bookworm, definitely try this idea. Create a backdrop by draping a blanket over the crib or the edge of the bed and spreading the rest of it out on the floor. You can leave this just like this, or if you'd like, look around the house for something with some extra texture. You can use a blanket, a rug. I have this fabulous coat that I thought would be super fun. Now go grab a stack of your favorite books. Once you create a setup that you love, go grab your baby. It's very easy to prop up a young newborn like this. For me, I have my older baby, so this is very great tummy time practice. She happens to love sleeping on her belly, so I'm going to set her up and wait for her to drift off. This is a really great way to show off your favorite children's books or your collection if you're a super fan of a certain series. If you want to keep things super simple but still want a special setup, Give this heart idea a try. All you need for this idea is a blanket. It can be as small as a receiving blanket or a crib blanket if you have a newborn, or you might want to use a full quilt or duvet like I am going to do since I have a nice big four month old baby. Spread your blanket out on a cozy surface and start molding the blanket into the shape of a heart. Now this works really well with a blanket that has some structure to it, kind of like a duvet. If you want a little extra help with the shape, roll up a towel or a blanket and kind of use it as a mold underneath your blanket. Once you create the shape that you like, Put your baby inside of the heart and start snapping away. This one is super simple and a great idea, especially if you have twins. I'm going to grab crayons, a towel, baby clothes, clothes pins, and I'm going to create an entire scene with these found objects. I happen to have this green blanket that I'm going to use as grass. Ribbon, yarn, string would work here too. For a fun little twist, I'm using a bowl and some crayons to make a sun. The last thing I'm adding to the setup is the baby. Put them in place and start snapping away. It looks Looks like they're hanging with the laundry in this cute little scene. The look and feel will change depending on the items that you have around your house. I just think that this is the cutest idea, especially with a little tiny newborn as a birth announcement. I hope you found an idea or two that you love and you feel confident snapping those photos yourself. Remember, it is never too late to give your baby the newborn treatment. If you're anything like me, I know that these kinds of photos can become your most cherished keepsakes in your new role as a parent. Now that I have this adorable collection of photos, I'm going to order a a few extra books from chatbooks to share with Chloe's grandparents. You don't need a pro to capture your little one at their cutest. Have fun and enjoy these photos of your newest creation. Drop any photo questions in the comment section below and if you're looking for more inspo, follow chatbooks on Instagram. See you soon!